But here's why this identity is very different, and that is why it is extremely pernicious to portray it in such a way. Several reasons for that, several points of analysis. One, religious offers moral guidance, and that's like the exclusivity of religion as an identity. Right. Nation, not so much, but religion, yes. So when you perceive someone being religious, and like having these sort of religious symbols on him, then you connect him, you attach him, with the moral framework of his or her religion. We think that's highly likely because we perceive religion as a framework of living. That especially, this is the case if you are a religious man, right? But moreover, we say that people who are perceived as very religious also are perceived as having very strong communal, uh, communal, uh, communal rights, right? So when we see, for example, in France, Muslims, we perceive them as portraying their religion in public, but the first connection that we have is not only that they have a different moral framework that we do, and that immediately distances us from them, but also that they are members of their community at first, and then, secondly, they are members of France. We think that's like very pernicious, because we think that the only thing that connects us with these people is like some sort of civic identity, a citizen's identity that should be uh, evolved later on. But moreover, we say that if their values are in opposition to our values, like for example, Islamic values with the value of freedom of speech, whence we cannot like draw Muhammad, etc., etc. Now, all these associations of people fighting against our best basic values, like freedom of speech, get in mind when we see those symbols on these people. We think that's harmful for their integration in society and leads to them having like worse outcomes in their lives because they communicate less with other people on their jobs, they probably get discriminated, but if not, in a way, still be feared by the majority. In the long run, we believe that will turn into some, somewhat of a harmful policies for minorities because they don't have a sufficient political ship to defend themselves in this one. Now, another thing we would like to add is also that these values of civic Civic uh, nationalism, basically something that is an overarching identity for all of us, should be advocated from these religious minorities. Usually, majority responds very well when you show that you want to integrate. And by doing this, you will show that you want to integrate. People will recognize that you are different by the color of your skin or by your language. But if you are not showing your religious identity, you are showing that you want to integrate and be a part of this society. Now, for all these reasons and these benefits, we have problems.